I'm now going to give you a series of numbers, and I want you to figure out what the pattern is, and then tell me what the next couple of numbers are going to be. So let me give you some numbers. So this is, let's say, this number. I have this number. And I have this number. And I want to know what the next two numbers in the series are. And you might want to pause it and try it yourself, because I'm about to tell you how to do this. Well, let's see. What's happening is we go from 6,342 to 6,442. What happened? Well, it looks like the only difference is the 3 became a 4 in the hundreds place. So we had one more 100. So essentially, we added 100 here. We added 100, or another way to add 100 is to increment the hundreds digit by 1. And let's see, when we went from 6,442 to 6,542, what happened? Well, the same thing. We had the hundreds digit 4, and we incremented it by 1, right? When you increment the hundreds digit by 1, right, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, you're actually saying 400 plus 100 is equal to 500, right? Because we're, we're operating in the hundreds place. So we've added 100 again. So the, it looks like the pattern is each number is 100 more than the one before it. So let's add 100 again. So how do we add 100 here? How do we add 100 to 6,542? Well, we just increment the hundreds digit by 1 again. So now it is, instead of 6,542, it's going to be 6,642. We incremented the hundreds digit by 1, or added 100. And we could just keep going. We could increment it by another 100. And that's just adding 1 to, this, to the hundreds place. 6,742 would be the, the second number to add. Let's do another one. So here's the numbers. So that's 6,342. 7,342, 8,342. And this pattern, very similar to the previous one, but where are we incrementing right now? The 342 stayed the same, but the thousands are changing. We went from 6,000 to 7,000 to 8,000, so we're adding 1,000 every time, right? Plus 1,000 plus 1,000. So let's just keep adding 1,000. So how do we do that? We increment the thousands digit. So to add 1,000 here, plus 1,000, we'd get 9,342. Now this is interesting. What happens when we add 1,000 to this? Well, we could say we have 10 1,000s, right? And you know. It, and, and when we actually read it, that's essentially how we're going to read it. But the way you should view this is, you can never have 10 in any one place. We can't have a 10 in the thousands place, right? So now we're going to create even a larger bucket or a larger can, and that's called the 10 thousands place. And that's going to be one place over. So now, instead of having 9,342, when you add 1,000 to it, you complete a bucket of 10,000, so that, in, that allows us to say, well, we have one of this new super huge bucket called a 10,000 bucket. We have one of those, and that's where we put all of our thousands. So now we have no 1,000s left, because all 10 were put into that big bucket, and then 342. Right? And this is essentially introducing, and I, I think we've done a couple of problems with that, that place. So now we have the hundreds, uh, sorry, we have the ones place, that's where the two is. The tens place, that's where the four is, or 40. The, th the hundreds place, that's where the three or the 300 is. This is the thousands place, which you're familiar with. And now this is the 10 thousands place. So we have one 10,000 here. And the way we would read this is 10,342. And we added 1,000 here to get here. Let's do another one. So let's say I had. We're always starting with 6,342. And then let's say we go to that number. So what are we doing? In some ways, this is the simplest, right? The thousands are staying the same. 
6,000, 6,000, 6,000. The 300s are staying the same. The 40 is staying the same. We're just incrementing the ones place by one every time. And when you increment the ones place by one, you're just incrementing by one. You're not incrementing by anything fancier than that. So we're adding one there, adding one again. So what's going to be the next one? Well, we just add one to the ones place. It's going to be 6,345, right? Adding one to four. And then we have 6,346, adding one to, adding one from five to six, 6,346. Let's do one last problem like this. And every time you see the problem, you should just pause it and try to do it yourself first. That's the best way to learn. So we're going to start with our classic 6,342. And then let's see what the next number is, 6,000. <laughs> so what are we doing right? We have 6,342, 6,352, 6,362. So we're incrementing the tens place by one. So when we we're adding ten, right? When you add ten, you just increment the tens digit by one. We're adding ten. So the next one is going to be. 6,300, add 1 to this digit, or adding 10 to the entire number, gives us 72. And then we add 10 again, we get 6,382. Actually, let me give you a little thought, thought experiment. What happens if we keep going? What happens if we keep adding 10? Well, then we go to 6,392. And now this is interesting. What happens when we add 10 here? Well, we want to increment the tens digit. That's what we're learning. So if we just automatically did that without thinking, our four places would be 6,000 in the thousands place, 300 in the hundreds place, 10 in the tens place, and then 2 in the ones place. Well, we can't do that. You can't have a 10. You can only have a digit there. You can't actually have a, a multiple uh, digit number in, in any given place. So once you have a group of 10 in a, in a given place, what you do is you combine them all up, and then you put them into the next highest place. So this is incorrect. That's incorrect. What you do is you take these 10, and you say, well, those 10 hundred, those 10 tens are actually equal to 100. So you would go, you would take these, and you'd essentially put them here. So you would add 1 to the hundreds. So the next number is 6,402. Right. And it also kind of makes sense if you just look at it visually. The 6 and the 2 stay the same, but the 39 becomes 40. Yeah, Any way that you, you find a look at it that might be easier. Let's, uh, let's go back to some of the visual, visual ways that we were viewing some of these problems before. So let me ask you a question. What is, let me pick a vibrant, bold color. What is 100 more? Then 3,624. And you might want to pause it and try it yourself. And I'm going to do it very visually for you. I'm going to draw you the thousands place. Thousands. So how many thousands do we have here? So we go to the thousands place. 3,000, right? 3,624. So let me draw three thousands. So it's one, two, three. Let's do the hundreds place. Hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? Well, we go to the hundreds place. We have six hundreds. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. All right, and I could have written, let me see, I could write a hundred here in each of these. Hundred. Hundred, 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 hundred. Okay, now we're in the tens place. Tens place is there. We have two tens. So tens. Let me draw those out. It's one, two tens. Ten, ten. And then finally, we have the ones place. That's there, ones. And how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four. 
You could view these as the top of the cans of marbles, um, where these would be much bigger cans. Or you could even view them as some type of uh, you know, uh, currency. Or you know, if you gamble, you could view these as poker chips, where you know, this is the, these are $1, $10, $100, uh, thousands of dollars, $1,000 each. So this is 1, 1, 1, 1. And this was over here, these are each 1,000, 1,000. 1,000, 1,000. So what was the question? What is 100 more than 3,624? So we're essentially going to add 100 to this representation. So how do we add 100? Well, we're going to add 1 to the hundreds place. right? We're going to add a group of 100. So let me add a group of 100. And I'm going to do it here, because I'm going to keep erasing it. So if I add a group of 100, it's going to go into the hundreds place. And I'm just going to add another group of 100 right there. So now, how many hundreds do I have? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So now I have 700, and everything else stayed the same. So I have 3,000, right? This is 3,000s, 700s, 700s. I have two tens, so that's two tens, or 20, and then four ones. 24. So uh, what is 100 more than 3,624? It's 3,724. And we just incremented the hundreds digit by 1. Let's do a couple more like that. Let me erase this as neatly as I can. So I'm going to do different scenarios. So let's do another scenario. So I'm back to 3,624. And now I'm going to ask you. What is one more? What is one more than 3,624? Well, if I'm only adding one, I'm essentially adding, you know, one more. We could call it one dollar poker chip, right? And that'll go into the ones place. So we would add it down here. It's in the ones place. So now do we have? We have three thousands. We have three thousands. 600 still, right? You can count them. Two tens. And then how many ones we have? We added one chip here. One, two, three, four, five. So we get 3,625. So we just incremented, or we just increased the ones place by one to go from a four to a five. 3,625. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this. Let's, oh, I didn't want to erase with the yellow. Let's do, let's do another one. I just want this to become second nature to you. Let's do another one. So what is, just going with a pattern, what is 10 more than 3,624? Well, if we're going to add 10 to the number, we're essentially adding a, um, a 10 denominated chip, or you could say a can of 10, or a group of 10, however you want to imagine it. So where would we add it? Well, we're adding 10, so we'll add a group of 10 right here. Actually, I don't want to do it there, because I want to be able to erase. Well, actually, that's fine. That's fine. And then how many is that? That's t I've added 10. So what is my new number? It's 3,600. And how many tens do I have now? Well, I just added this one, so I have 1, 2, 3, 3 tens. So that's 30. And then I have the 4, 1 still. 3,634. So when I add 10 to this, what did I just do? I just Essentially, this 2 got increased by 1 to 3. And why is that? Because the 2 counts how many 10 buckets I have, and I just added one, up, one more to that. So that's 3,634. Let's do one last problem like this. I, this is actually quite enjoyable, I think. So I'm going back to 3,624. And now my question is, what happens? If I add 1,000, so what is 1,000 more than 3,624? Well, I have to. If I'm going to add 1,000, that means I'm going to add a bucket of 1,000, or a can of 1,000 marbles, or a poker chip that is denominated 1,000. So I'd put it in the thousands place. So it'd go right there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me undo that. It should look like that. There you go. So I had a thousands there. A thousand, a bucket of a thousand. 
So now what is the number? How many thousands do I have? I had these three. I added one, so now I have one, two, three, four thousand. Four thousand. My hundreds, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. I have one, two tens. Two tens is twenty. And I have one, two, three, four ones. So my new number is 4,624. So if someone asks you what is 1,000 more than 3,624, it's 4,624. I'll see you in the next video.